again! Let's have a battle with my metal mummy mine! Okay! He evolved this morning! Wow! I bet he can beat Metal Greymon! No way! Your shrimp won't have a chance! <laughs> Notice that those kids had like two voice actors. All three of them spoke, and the main character and the guy who owned Metal Greymon like shared the same voice actor and had the exact same voice. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Warning, I swear a lot. Hi guys, and welcome to Memory Lane. Welcome to a very special Memory Lane because this is going to be a series because the original Digimon world could not be constrained to a single video because I don't want to constrain it to a single video. I'm going to do as much of this as I want. Welcome to Digimon World. This game was a huge part of my childhood. One of some of my most vivid memories come from playing this game. And for about 20 years, give or take, the game was completely lost to me. Like I could ne there was no way I could even get a glimpse of the goddamn thing unless we're on the internet, but I would never want to ruin it for myself by knowing too much. I couldn't play it, is my point. I couldn't get a hold of a copy of it. My brother tried, but it was like I don't think it was a power copy, so it didn't work on the my PS3 or whatever. But luckily for me, a very generous little noodle lent me this game and now I'm able to experience it again. And I have experienced it, full disclosure, I have been playing this over the past few days because I wasn't gonna not. Like, I really did want to save it to see on the channel again for the first time, but like 20 years, man, I had to play it. But we're still, we're gonna start a new game together out of here and we're gonna do some Digimon World. I'm thinking maybe some of you out there might be have had a similar experience that I have in which you haven't seen or played this for an incredibly long time, so we can have a proper nostalgic experience together. I'm excited. Ever since I realized that she had this, all I could think was A, I can't wait to bit play it, and B, I can't wait to record it. So this is Gigimon, I gotta tell him a little bit about myself. Well, do I have a Digivice? No, I'm not some kind of extremely massive nerd. I see. Do you have friends? I mean, yes, no, it's proven, because Sweetman and Owen have been on the channel, and Sword does. Yeah, I have friends. Alright. I have dogs, they're barking, those are my friends. What's your name? It's FPS, obviously. Because Foreman doesn't fit. FPS, right? It sure damn well fucking hell is. What's your Digimon's name? I have prepared for this eventuality. His or her name, or their name, as you would use in this circumstance, will be... Doots. I'm excited to meet little Doots. Dudes, right? Yes. Good name. Thank you. That's all the questions I have. See you later. Goodbye, little man. Goodbye. It's dead. 
Digimon. Huh? He's saying something. the music. I haven't listened to it on headphones yet. Oh, there we go. We're gonna turn that up a little bit. That sounds great. He arrived. It worked. We did it. I don't know what we did. Fucking god. Alright, I'm turning that back down a little bit. Good lord. There's my little guy. Alright, so I'm pretty sure Future Eagle would have skipped all that because it's not especially interesting and also my dog started barking like crazy. Not worth it, really. The plot is not why you play this game, it's to raise your Digimon. So that's what we're gonna do. First of all, they've got items for us. I want those items. You little... What is he again? That little white bastard over there. There he is. Give it to me. Free items. Thank you. We're all set up. Let's have a look at Dutes. This is our little Dutes. He's an Agumon. He's active during the day. Fire and kicking are his specials. So, I've got an idea, kind of, of how I want to conduct this, as it were. Like, timing for doing things and stuff. Because you can lose fights in this game absurdly easily. So, we're gonna spend, like, a day training. I want to at least get his brain up to 100 so we can teach him- Tell him to attack people during combat. That might be useful. Other than that, a few little extra stat bonuses. But we're pretty much gonna- Oh, fuck, the meat! Oh, I need the meat! I need the food! I forgot the food! When did this cable come out? When did this cable come out? Well, if you're a Let's Player, there's nothing scarier than saying to yourself the phrase, When did this cable fall out? Don't worry, it's nothing to do with the capture, it's just my controller, but still, scary. We need to go get food. I'm hoping, not only will this be a bit of a nostalgic journey for some of us, but if you're going to play this yourself, you might pick up some tips. However, if you've come to this video, Looking for tips. You grow meat on a farm. Meat farm is fine. Give me the meat. Did you give me the meat? You did. Okay. If you come to this video specifically for tips, I think you're going to be disappointed. Because this is an LP channel for, like, commentary and entertainment purposes. I'm not by no means am I particularly decent at this game. I've played a bit of it. Noodles knows a lot more. I just, you know... I play the video games and we see what happens. That's the joy of my craft. But for now, we need to go to the gym. We need to keep an eye on Dutes because if he starts to poots, we need to get him to the toilet. Because I ain't having a fucking Nunamon. If I get a Nunamon, I might end the series immediately. I also might keep going because it's funny. But, you know, I haven't decided yet, to be honest. He wants food. Dutes, 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 Dutes boy. Dutes boy. Here's some food. We want to train him up for today and then get him into the forest tomorrow because we're going to need to be foraging for food because you run out of food pretty quickly. Fortunately, if you get lucky, you can find a lot of mushrooms and you're good. But after that, we kind of want to gonna want to kind of gonna want to get into champion. At which point we can. Oh, poops! It's time for poops. Dudes must poops. Let's go. Once we get to champion, we can start going around and setting ourselves up for the future. That's like getting the item shop open, getting that shortcut to the jungle all sorted out. Once you've sorted these things out, you can really play the game at your leisure. Because you're not worrying about food anymore. Yeah, I know. I know. It's cool. Wait for it. That's that top quality content that you came here for. Good shit. But once you've sorted out food, you're pretty much good. You can pursue the game at your leisure, whether you want to focus mostly on training or getting people to come back to the town. Whatever you want to do, you can do it knowing that your Digimon isn't going to fucking starve. So that's what you want to focus on first, but you need to make sure you're strong enough because um, Palmon and Kunamon are quite tough, especially Kunamon, weirdly enough. There we go. Now he'll listen to my commands. He wants food. We've got food for you, my little man. Enjoy it. Go on. Good boy. Good boy. He loves it. He loves it. Alright, so I wanted to focus, because, like, the stats that you give your Digimon, as well as his weight, as well as, as well as the way you raise him, all 
have a, f a, a factor, as it were, they all have an effect on what he will digivolve into, and he could digivolve into so many different things. I'm gonna try and focus on power and speed and see what that gets me. I, I was thinking maybe a Gurumon, but considering I've got Agamon and not Gagamon, I don't actually know if I'm gonna get that. But I wanna try, I wanna see what happens. Experimentation is, like, kind of the joy of this game, because you can just do what you want and you can see what happens. And if he does turn into Nunamon, that sucks, but oh well, we'll just, you know... Eventually he'll fade away and we'll try again. Fading away is the most upsetting term for dying I've ever heard as well. And like, you know what? One of my Digimon died, faded away the other day. And it was really upsetting. <laughs> Didn't like it. Let's do some running, my boy. Do some running. I would say to begin with, you just kind of want to get everything up to 100 so that you've got some baseline stats to work with. Just so that, you know, occasionally he's blocking things and he can also do decent damage and he moves somewhat quickly. But he needs to poop right now, so we'll have to come back to it in a minute. We won't get everything up to 100 before going into the forest tomorrow. I have so much to say and not enough time to say it in. I guess that's good because it means it keeps the commentary running, but I literally don't have time to explain everything to you that I want to explain before things happen. Also, I kind of want to keep things moving along so we can get to the more interesting stuff. I'm all over the place. It's okay. We're getting all our stats up to 100. I want to try and get HP and MP up to 1,000 because then that gives them a bit more survivability in combat. And then we focus on power and speed and see what that gets us. That is my plan. That is my scheme. That is the scam I'm running here, basically. So speed is up to 100. That's great. He wants food. Don't worry, buddy. We give it to you. So his weight may drop a little bit around this time because I just don't have a lot of food to give him. He wants more food, that's fine. His weight may drop, but once we start getting mushrooms, we can start supplementing his meals a little bit and uh, he'll do better. How is his weight now, in fact? 15, so we're keeping average. That's good. That's good. So we need a defense. This will also increase his brains. Always good to have more brains. Good, good. Oh, now he's snoozy. He's a snoozy boy. Let's get him back home. Because if we have him sleep near the toilet, then if he needs to poop when he wakes up, he won't poop on the floor. If he poops on the floor, that's how you get Nunamon. Don't get Nunamon. You don't want Nunamon. You don't. He sucks. He's the worst thing that's ever been made by anything. Have a little snooze, doots. Big doot snooze. Snoo doots. Look at him go. What a good boy. I love you, dudes. I love dudes immediately. That is perhaps a real thing in this game's favor, where I do care about the Digimon in this game. You know, he's a very endearing little fella. Look at him go. This game does a good job of, like, this game is one of the best, like, worst designed, best designed games I've ever played. Like, it's amazing in many ways and abysmal in many others, but it's so amazing in the way that ways that it's good that you don't care about how shoddy or poorly thought out some of the other stuff is. Don't even get me started on that item shop minigame. I've never hated anything more. But everything else about this game is a fucking gold mine. And the fact that combat is so stilted is part of the appeal, right? It encourages you to train and raise your Digimon because he's not just going to be a natural fighter, you have to teach him. And when he fights well, it becomes a point of pride. Because you're like, yeah, he did it. He fucking did it. He needs to poop immediately. Dutes, you gotta stop pooting. Less pooting, more dooting, you know what I mean? Good boy. I guess this game particularly appeals to someone like me because I've raised dogs all my life, so it's a similar principle. Albeit with, you know, no fighting because my dogs are precious little angels and they're very soft. <laughs> How is his stats again? His weight has gone down to 13, which is not great. You know what? Let's not be around the bush. Let's go, let's go, let's go fight now. Let's go have a quick fight. Let's see what happens, all right? We can do it. His brain's up to 100. That's pretty much all he needs to make sure he fights properly. Hello, Agumon. I've got an Agumon. Wow! Wow. I can't believe it. You want to fight? Let's fight. Yeah. Soundtrack's amazing. This is going to be such a slosh fest of a fight, right? It's going to be the least entertaining thing you've ever seen. Oh, he got him, though. Hey, yo. Dudes has got him. He's still got the Spitfire out in time. Oh, he's laying down the offensive, but he blocks it. What's he going to do? 
can block that one. Too many Spitfires. Oh, it's a double hit. I wonder if you can have a double KO. I wonder what happens if you have a double KO. Took him down. Wasn't even a contest. Yeah, da. Excellent, 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 excellent. He's like, oh, damn it, I lost my rats. And I'm like, I should invite him to the city. Excuse me. Could you, could you come to the city, please? And he's like, what? You mean that shithole? And I'm like, uh, if you could just, you know. And he's like, uh, fuck it. Okay, I guess you did win. And we've recruited our first guy. He runs item storage, which is mildly useful. It pays to try, I'll keep on asking. Actually, we're going to keep on training, my guy. But first, before we keep on training, we need to look for mushrooms. Because we don't have any food. Hey, mushroom. Good start. Good start. Excellent. So this initial part of the video, I guess, is going to be quite slow. Because we're just going to be training up dudes and trying to get him to evolve, basically. But once that is out of the way... Things will get interesting. We could go hunt a Kaburamon and try and get Magma Bomb, which is a technique you can learn, but uh, I'm scared because Kaburamon's quite tough and Agumon and Dutes is just a little baby. He's just a little baby. He can't be doing that shit. He's tiny. Look at him. And he's yellow. He's so easy to see. I found mushroom. I know a mushroom tends to grow there. He's so yellow, which makes him easy to hit, because you can see him from a mile away. He has no natural camouflage. There's nowhere in the world that is purely yellow. Even the desert is actually just kind of brown. Come on, dudes, we need food for you. Get food for you? Yeah, food for you. Uh, oh, great. This is going to be a long video, I can tell. I'm going to need to record this for, for a while before something interesting happens. It's fine, it's fine. We'll tough it out. If you're here for Digimon World, then you probably- you understand what the game is like, you know? I don't think you're expecting me to be, um, fighting Merrimon this episode. My favorite part of this game, I think, is going from rookie to champion. I'm always excited to see what champion they turn into. Ultimate is always a big moment, but like... Oh, I, I was gonna perhaps have a fight, but he's made the decision for us. We're gonna have a little scrap. I don't know how this is gonna go, because Betamon's actually quite tough. He's not better than us. Go on, dudes, get him. Yay, yeah, cut him off. Cut him off at the pass. Go on, interrupt. Yeah, oh no, he blocked it. That's fine. Keep keep the pressure on. Yeah. He has a stand a chance. Look at that green little fuck. Get him out of here. Get the kids out of here. Well, that didn't work. Ow, oh, and he's stunned for 10 seconds, which is an absurdly long time to be stunned. He could do anything in this time. He could even do nothing. Please do nothing. No, that's bad. That's a really powerful attack. If you just hit him with one more Spitfire like that, he's dead. We did it. We did it. Yatta. Ooh, he's dropped a small recovery, and we got a bunch of stats up. That's a great fight. Thank you, Betamon. Now, don't ambush me next time. If Dutes dies, I will cry. You will see a man cry on camera. I promise you it will happen. And the man will be me. I will cry. So what do we need to do next? What's his stats like? He's got 81 offense, 77 defense. We need to get that defense up. Those are rookie numbers, son. We gotta pump them up. Go on, my boy. Go on. Take that punch in the face. You're doing great. 85. That's what it's about. Now you're hungry. Don't worry. We've got food for you. He needs to poopy. Dude's got poots. Let's go. Let's go. This is the most frustrating part of training is having to leave the gym to take him to poop every single fucking time. It's like every two or three training sessions, something happens which stops him from continuing to train and it's really frustrating. <laughs> but you gotta do it. It's all part of it. If you could just train endlessly with no interruptions, you'd get real fucking bored of training. The fact that the game forces you to step away from it to do stuff means that time that you actually get to spend training feels better because it feels more valuable because you don't just get to do it whenever you want even though you do kind of get to just do it whenever you want you could do it whenever you want if you wanted a fucking nunamon but i don't so i won't put simply starting tomorrow we're going to start getting his weight up in the hopes that he will evolve into something big although we we'll want to keep his weight average actually because i'm thinking something with speed and attack would probably be quite light or at the very least, not too small. 
So we'll have to be, you know, we'll have to be moderate about it. And you guys know I can do moderation. I'm all about it. I'm nothing if not moderate. He needs to poopy again. We just went, dudes. We literally just went to poop. Do you remember that? When we pooped five minutes ago, if that? It was probably more like three minutes to us. You gotta do something about that fucking bladder, man. You gotta start. You gotta eat something else. I don't know what you're eating. I mean, I'm feeding them. I'm feeding them meat. I don't know what's in that meat. But it's clearly not doing him any favours though, is it? This is, we're gonna be in this for the long haul, so provided something interesting happens, um, I might just skip ahead a little bit, but maybe jump back if anything cool occurs. I'll be back with you in just a moment, fellows. Good, that's good. Now he's snoozy. It's time for snooze, my friend. Time for- and he's tired, so good, yes. More snooze for big boy. Does he need to poop? He needs to poop! I almost missed that shit! If you just go to sleep without pooping him, he'll poop on the floor. And virus goes up, that's bad. That looks strangely relaxing. On here. His weight is 11, not bad, but on day- neck tomorrow even, we're gonna wanna start building up his weight a little bit, we'll start supplementing his meals. Now he needs to poop, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, it's a mad dash to make sure he doesn't shit on the floor, come on man, let's go, dudes. I do love raising Digimon, just, you know, watching the little fella grow up. I love this game, it's such a good game, I absolutely adore it. His weight is 10, that's fine. Just giving him a little training regimen, thinking about what he's gonna grow into. I can't wait, I can't wait for him to Digivolve, I'm so curious what it's gonna be. Oh, Poopy, it's time for Poopy. And foodie! Oh, eat while you poop! That's how- <laughs> that's what you gotta do, you know, when you're a training to be the best. You gotta streamline the process. Eat and poop, eat and poop, same time. We'll bring you a diaper. You can train, eat and poop all at the same time. Good job, dudes. Just do a quick bit of foraging. We want to find, like, at least one mushroom just to supplement what we got. Even though we haven't actually used any of the mushrooms yet, but tomorrow is gonna be serious weight gain day. We're gonna have to feed him endlessly. Maybe not endlessly, but supplement, you know. But for now, let's see what we can find. Even if we just find one mushroom, we'll get into one fight. That'll be good. Uh, prove his growth. Excuse me, you little bastard. Get out of my way. Fucking useless. What makes you think you can even stand up to this absolute G'd up unit? Get out of my way. Just one mushroom. Give it to me. It grows on the forest floor. Sometimes plentifully. But not today. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I was hoping if I sang at the forest it would reward me. It would recognize my attempts to provide an even exchange of services. I give it music, it gives me food. But it doesn't- oh god, Red Vegemon, stay the fuck away from me. Sometimes there's a mushroom over here. Get away from me, you fat fuck. Nope, no mushroom. Ah. Uh. No mushroom here either. Sometimes there's one at the lake. Maybe there's one at the lake. Come on, lake mushroom. It's got that extra lakeside goodness. Let's give it to me. Yes. Yes. Yes, mushroom. We can also buy food from that vending machine, but it's absurdly expensive and should only be done as a last resort. Plus, later on, we'll be able to buy meat for pennies and all of our food issues will disappear like that. Completely gone, no worries. Palmon will also be giving us giant meat, so it'll all be completely fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, for, all right, we'll do it now then. We'll do it now. Dutes is gonna put you in the ground, little man. You don't know what you're up against. He can spit fire. If he was in World War II, they'd call him Spitfire. Because of that, very specifically. Because he spits fire. Was that not clear? It is now. Go on, take him out. He's a little bitch. Who even cares? Oh. That was bad. That was a bad one. That was quite a lot of damage. Get him. No, get him. I said get him. Continue getting him. No, get him. Get him. Get him. I fucking get him, dudes. That was bad. I'm gonna have to be careful. I don't really want to waste healing items now, but I'm not going to have dudes lose a life. That'd be fucking cataclysmically bad. Finish him! I'm not using the finisher. There's no point. There we go. You did it. After way too much work. You fought better with lower stats, dudes. I'm unimpressed. At least you got some offense for that. That's pretty good. 
Off you go, little bastard. He needs to- oh fuck, he needs to- uh, there's no mushroom here anyway, and he needs to sleep- oh god, this is just everything I didn't- And he needs to eat. Arafid's just hit me at once, I'm not ready, I'm not prepared, there's too much, it's scary, I don't know what to do. I'm panicking. I'm panicking? You can tell from my expression of complete and utter indifference how much I'm panicking. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. He's not pooping on the floor. Dudes, you will get such a telling off if you poop on the floor, I tell you what. Don't fucking do it. Don't do it. It occurs to me that this game is everything that Tamagotchis wanted to be, you know? Like, Tamagotchis were cool, but this is just that, but better. Good night, little dudes. It's time to go to bed. Oh. I love this game. It makes me so happy to be playing it. I can't believe it's actually back in my life again. It... I mean, like, to a lot of you out there, it's like, what's the big deal, man? It's just a game, you know, PS1 game. Sure, they're a bit old and hard to find, but, like, this one, I couldn't find it anywhere. Like, and I looked on Amazon recently before Noodles lent this to me, and it was, like, going for, like, 40 quid. And those were used copies. Like, they might even be damaged and broken and useless. But it's worth pointing out that now we're at day three, or age three, day four. He's going to be evolving soon. So I say, we give him a mushroom, right, start beefing up his uh, weight a little bit. He's going to poop a bit more, but overall his weight will increase. And once he's a champion, we can look into making sure we never run out of food again. Now it would have been nice to have done that before he digivolved, but that's just not really an option available to us. Because if we failed, it would waste too many resources, and I'm not doing the whole, like, um, if you die, reset and try again. We're doing an LP, you know? I've got to at least try and play fair. We need to get that speed up to 150. Every time the mu the sound stops from night time, I think it's because he's going to digivolve, and it scares the shit out of me. I'd say once we've got his speed up to 150, we can sort of alternate back and forth between hit training and speed training until he evolves, and then we'll have something go on. I don't know. I'm quite nervous as to what will happen. I don't know what he'll turn into. It could be something cool, it could be something fucking lame. We just pooped, let's give him a mushroom. He's probably gonna digivolve today. The only problem is, is when you feed him when he's not hungry, his happiness and um, discipline go down, but it's necessary for him to maintain weight. If you just feed him when he's hungry, he tends to lose quite a bit of weight, which is not quite what we want, although getting Metal Mamemon would not be a bad thing, because he's pretty cool. You saw him in the intro, but... He's not quite what I'm aiming for. I kind of wanted Garurumon. I guess having a slightly lower than normal weight would allow for that, because he's like a wolf, so he's kind of like, you know, he's live, he's agile, he's lean. Lean would be the term you'd use. Ah, oh, fuck, he needs to poop. Ah, uh, uh, abandon everything, abandon everything. Go, 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 go. We definitely need to go foraging. We don't have enough food right now. Obviously, because we're feeding him more, he's pooping more. So, if you're gonna feed him more, you need to make sure you have the food to feed him more, or it will result in just less weight. This is not what you want, funny enough, when you're trying to gain weight. There we go, good dudes. Now, we'll give you another mushroom, or a meat. Yeah, we'll give you a meat. His discipline and happiness will suffer a little bit, but it will be good in the long run. I think if you feed him after pooping, it doesn't affect him. I think if that becomes like a routine. So you get into a weight gaining routine, basically. But if you're going to commit to that, then it's hard to average a specific kind of level of weight. Like, you're either going to be building up tons or you're going to be losing quite a lot. It depends what you're going for. And I'm kind of trying to do like a averaging in a low but not too low amount so it doesn't really work very well it's hard to oh a mushroom that is exactly what i needed thank you find a mushroom we'll come back we'll fight someone i don't think he's going to digivolve today he might but looking at it a lot of time has passed i don't think he will oh hello another mushroom just what i wanted one more mushroom and we'd be good one more mushroom and i think we'd be safe for the day really i'd want two more but Beggars can't be choosers, you know, we're kind of short on time. But we need the food to make sure he stays chunky. Funky but chunky. If you don't get a lot from battling, the only thing of real value that he could get from fighting would be a move. But he would only get fire-type moves, so I'd need to fight fire-type Digimon that use fire-type moves. And none of those guys use that. I know Gaburamon does. 
but I'm hes I'm hesitant. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little hesitant. Nothing there. You know what? This is an LP. Fuck it. Let's go fight a Gaburamon and see if we can get a new technique. Let's do it. Let's live a little. Let's let's fucking let's just go. Let's just fucking go. You know? What what are we Namby Pambying about for? We've gotta be a big man today, not tomorrow. We've gotta be a bigger man yesterday, and a huge man the next day, and a further large increased man the day before last time. I know what I said. Uh, it didn't make sense, but I know what I said. You can go fight a boss here, but he's a champion level Digimon, and I don't think we're ready for that just yet. Not not where we are now. So we might just want to, you know... We'll, we'll take a swing at Gaburamon and see what happens. To a drill tunnel, yes, fortunately, because most of us can't speak Japanese. Or read it. There's a bunch of squiggles to me. It'd be nice to learn some Japanese, I suppose, but I don't need it. I'm not going to Japan, you know, and most anime have subs or dubs, so who cares. Oh. Oh, so I thought he was going to attack us, but... Oh, Dutes is evolving. Oh. Oh, okay. Right. Let's see what happens. Okay, okay. Come on, be so cool. Please don't be Nunamon, please. Please, not on camera. Triceramon. Oh, no, no, Monochromon. Oh. Ah, oh. ooh. Oh, you stacked up unit. I've gotten uh, monochrome on before, but always happy to see him, you know? Always happy to see him. So he's got Spitfire and Volcanic Strike. Now, the good news is that he could still learn Magma Bomb, I'm pretty sure. How are his stats? What's, what are we looking at? It's pretty good. Let's have a go, a little Gaburamon over here, and see what we can do. Let's get, let's... You know, let's break him in. Let's break him in. Let's break Monochromon in. Go on, dudes. Fuck him up. I love Monochromon. He's so cool. I'm very happy with this. Fuck him up. Absolutely wreck him. We may take more damage per hit, but he's weaker. He didn't even get a chance to do whatever the fuck it was he's doing. If he gets a Magma Bomb in, though, we might be in trouble, but we'll probably be fine. Go on, go on, take him out, take him out. Yeah, I'd say two more Spitfires. Yep, just one more Spitfire. You got him, man. Go on, finish him. Finish him. Yes, he's gone all shit. You got him. You got him. He's a bitch. Yatta. That's not out of sync. I just say it before he does. Future me. I know future me will be getting upset because I'll be like, did I mean to say it before he said it? Or it's completely out of sync. I don't know. It's okay, future me. Don't sweat it. Now, I'm going to praise him because he's such a good boy. Good boy. Now, what we're going to do today, we're going to continue training until he goes to sleep. Although he does need more food now. It just occurred to me. Continue training. Then tomorrow morning, when as soon as we wake up, we're going after Palmon and we're gonna beat him up. We're gonna go down to Palmau, beat his shit out, and then we'll get giant meat, and that'll be a good time. Then we can move on to like probably getting the item shop, and then like I said, we'll never run out of food again. It'll be amazing. And we picked a pretty stacked up unit of a Digimon to end up getting, so well, we didn't pick him at all. I was actually trying to go for something else, but I am not bothered in the slightest, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Who plays this game and goes, oh shit, I got monochrome on. I mean, look at him. Wait for it. Look at him. And he's so cute as well. His little face. He reminds me of some of my <laughs> male dogs that are a little goofier. So they just look a little less intelligent. Oh, he's such a good boy. Beat the shit out of this better mom, will ya? Attack him. Attack him. Fuck him up. Oh, he doesn't stand a chance, and it's hilarious. Oh, ow. But it doesn't do a lot of damage, because Dutes is an absolute stacked-up unit, and he's going to take this motherfucker downtown, like so. He's fucking dead. Is anyone surprised? No, of course not. Yatta! I love you. I love you, Dutes. I love you. You're the best, Dutes. You're my favourite, Dutes. Favorite, favorite dudes. I'm still gonna try and focus on speed and attack power to see if I can get him to digivolve.
from champion into something interesting. Oh, you want some food? Well, there's no mushroom down here. Unfortunate, but this is the way of things. We have two digi mushrooms. I don't think this is enough. It's probably not going to be enough. He's a big boy. Oh, this could be a slight issue. Oh, you're a wonderful boy, but we unfortunately, we now have to go foraging for more mushrooms, because we don't have any. Unfortunate. Oh, another mushroom. If we can get, I'd say, three to ensure that the next time he's hungry, we can satiate his craving. We'll be good. We'll be fine. We can go back and do a bit more training. What a good boy. What a good, 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 good boy. The goodest boy. Doots. Doots the goodest boy. Come on, mushroom. Don't want to fight you, Red Vegemon. Stay away from me. There's a mushroom. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to get to it, though, because he's being a dickhead. There we go. Got the mushroom. Exactly what I wanted. Let's get the fuck out of here. Could fight you by your own, frankly, but we are a little low on health, and I'd rather not. Frankly, if I had to make a choice, it'd be to not do that. I could fight you, you little prick, but once again, can't really be bothered. We've got two mushrooms. Two mushrooms. There we go. Did you mushroom? Did you stop? Why did you stop? Is there a reason you stopped? Is it because you need to poop? No, you're fine. Good boy. Keep it up. You're the best, Dutes. I love you so much. All right, back to training, Dutes. We got a lot to do. Tomorrow, you got your first big fight, your first real fight. We'll see how it goes. If the two Digimon we're about to fight, probably not one after the other, although maybe if I use him, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Point is, they're scary. They're actually quite tough, and they have the potential to just completely cheese you out and kill your Digimon. Well, take away a life from your Digimon quite quickly. He needs to poopy. He needs to poopy now. Not then. Now he also needs to sleep. That's good. That will bring about tomorrow, and we can go get what we want to get. Oh, my limbs. My limbs hurt. Go sleepy now, my little man. Well, go poopy first, then go sleepy. There we go, good dudes. Top quality comedy. Only on this channel. Oh, he wants food now as well. Fuck. I don't want him to go to sleep without eating, so we'll just give him the rest of the mushrooms, I suppose. Like I said, we'll get more food tomorrow, so it's not a big deal. He still wants more food. Don't worry, buddy. We got you. He might want three mushrooms rather than two. He does. Oh god, does he want four? He does want four. You greedy bastard. I guess he did just poop, but that's... That's everything we've got, dudes. That's everything. You are still hungry. I don't know what to do for you, man. Just... I gave him a ton of food. Just sleep it off. We'll fucking... I'll get you something tomorrow. I did my best. The thing is, we don't want to go to little dude man and get more food because we want to go get Palmon first so we can get giant meat because it's way better. I'm guessing he's still hungry. Weirdly enough, no. I'm not complaining. But we're going to have to go look for mushrooms because I imagine he'll be hungry again soon if we didn't feed him properly and then send him to sleep. He had three! Was it four mushrooms? I think he had four mushrooms. He was still hungry by the end of it. That's the only problem with having such a stacked up unit, is you got to feed him as well, like a stacked up unit. And we've got to watch out for those Dokunamons, because yeah, we could take them, but I don't really want anything weakening us before we fight Palmon. Uh, there's no mushrooms here. Ah, there's no mushrooms here, that's unfortunate. Mushroom. Excellent. Excellent. Ah, oh, give me the mushroom. Thank you. God, I hope we win this. We could just not win it, but I do have healing items. But the game, the luck could also just seriously turn against me. Anything's possible, you know? Just gonna fucking see what happens. Hello there. Ah. A flower. I'm a flower. I'm a fucking flower, you dipshit. What an aggressive flower. Alright, dudes, you got this. You've been training for this. This is your moment. You gotta own it. Take her out. No mercy. Good. He's gonna take a hit from that, but it's not too bad. Yo, he got more health. And he hits like a truck. 
He's got this. Go on, take her out. Yeah, yeah. Go on, dudes. Go on, dudes. Fuck her up. Oh. She goes in with the jab and throws him off. Poor move. You should have kept up those jabs, man. Oh, fuck. He's poisoned. It's not so bad, though. Go on, take her out. Take her out. She's got some special attacks that we don't want to fucking do. Go on, dudes. Oh, God. Well, if we get the finisher, that'll be fun, at least. There we go. That's good. That's good. Nearly there. That's the special attack I was talking about. That was a lot of damage. You little bastard. How dare you move out of the way. There we go. No point doing a finisher now. It'd be pointless. There we go. Especially now. Because <laughs> she's dead. Yatta. Good boy, dudes. Well done. And we got a brain chip to make him more brainy. I love brainy dudes. I hate fighting. Well, you pick the fight. Why not come to the city where we won't fight? And if you don't come to the city, we'll fight you again. Excellent. We got the brain chip. Now, dudes, eat the brain chip. Just shove it in your gob. Go on. Oh, dudes, we can't be having that, I'm afraid. If they refuse the item, you have to scowl, scowl, scowl them, scold them. Be a good boy. Now, eat the brain chip. You can pretend it's me. There we go. Now, what we're also going to do is heal him up a little bit, because he took some bad hits. Because we could go straight to Kunamon from here. Yes, we could. Let's go straight to Kunamon, beat his teeth in, then we'll go back and get the large meat, and then he's good to go, and he'll be happy, and everything's good, and this game is going very well. I was expecting it to go so much worse. I'd like to point out, I said what I said before, but if we had actually got Nunamon, I would have kept going. I would have done my best. I would have seen it as a challenge. I'd have hated it. I'd have hated every second of it. But I would have seen it as a challenge. Oh, hello, there's a mushroom. Lovely. Now we have something to give this little bastard. Just have a look around there, okay. Hey, dick nuts. Hey, knob face. You're hungry? Well, why don't you dine on these nuts or this mushroom? Now that should be preferable if you had that instead. That's good. Let's fight. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to fight us and then we give you the food, not we give you the food and then you attack us, you know? I don't know. I'm not an expert on social etiquette or nothing or how to rob people, but I feel like you've done this the wrong way around, my friend. Nice. That was a good start. It's a good start. Fuck him up. He's got nothing. You're a champion. He's a worm. A literal worm. This is like fucking Rhydon versus Cappy. Except this Cappy actually knows some shit. I guess it's more like a Weedle. Ah, that's what I was worried about. Now he just gets to wail on us for a good 10 seconds. This is why I brought healing items. Cause... Yeah, stuff like that can completely ruin the fight. Yes, because it has done this to him. Unfortunate. He can still attack like this, but it's nowhere near as good. I don't even know what the status effect is. All I know is that it's bad. Shoot him. You did shoot him. He's changing back. Do we... We don't take the damage while transforming. That's good. Fuck him up. Or, you know, let him block you. Whatever. I don't tell you what to do. Oh, wait. I do. I'm your tamer. Let's finish him. Finish him. Finish him. And then he mash. And he mash. You keep mashing. And then... Big boy moves. Oh, he's fucked. 869 damage. Sit down, you little cunt. That's right. Yatta. MP chip, lovely. 1200 bits, a whole bunch of experience, and level ups, and stats. It's good shit. This isn't good, what should I do? You should go fuck yourself, little man. He's like, alright, I'll go fuck myself. Mm. Yeah, you get out of here. He joins the sea. We got the MP chip. Now, dudes, we had an issue with this before. I want you to eat the chip. Oh, dudes, you know that's not right. You know that's bad. No, no, no. 
Now, if you scold him at the right moment, he doesn't lose happiness and just gains a bunch of discipline, which makes him more obedient, which I think makes him better in fights as well. So there we go. Let's have a look at him. We don't need to heal him now, because we're going to spend the rest of today probably training, at least until the moment in which we need to go and get the item shop sorted out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But he's doing quite well. Very pleased with the little man. I want to try and get him magma bomb at some point, but that's something for a little later. Let's go back to town. We've got a shortcut now. For those of you who don't know, when you bring Kunamon back to the sea, literally all he does is just clear a shortcut between the bridge and the sea, so you can get back there super quick. I don't really want to fight you, I've got to be honest. I didn't want to listen to you, Sukemon. We've got other shit to do. I guess I can heal Dutes if he gets in danger. And I do have a restore to bring him back, I think. If he goes down. We don't have much health, though. Okay, he's going on the offensive. Jesus. Go on, Dutes. Dutes, don't let him get away with it. Fuck him up. Show that little shit what for. Yeah, go on, get him. Get him. Yeah. Yeah. Kill him. No, kill him. Keep killing him. There we go. Fucked. Yatta. Nice, 300 bits. Hey, that's not too bad. Hey, that's pretty good though, isn't it, actually? Good boy, dudes. Well done. Let's get you out of here though. Your health's getting a little low and your MP's not much higher. I know there's another Sukumon up there, in there? Yeah, there's two actually. I don't want to fight either of them, let alone both. No, please. No, please. Don't chase me. I don't know why they're chasing me. I have a champion level Digimon. Surely that's terrifying for them. Things are going very well. Hello, you adorable little bastard. How you doing? We're fixing Digital Bridge now. Please wait a while. Sunamon, I will wait for you every day until you've done what you need to do. You precious little angel. Now let's go get that newly upgraded meat. Which will keep our big boy big and strong. Palmon, give it to me. I expanded the meat farm. Giant pieces of meat. Thank you very much. Usually one of those will feed a champion level Digimon. Sometimes they do want a little bit more, but that's why you want to hold on to some mushrooms. Or when we get the item shop, it's why you want to have a fucking million pieces of extra meat just in case. But it keeps things good. It keeps things good. So I think speed was kind of what he needed right now. He had the brain chip, and that's got his brain up to 200. So he fights pretty well. He's quite smart. And he's learned moderate, which I never use. But I guess you do that if you want him to try and conserve his MP. Though when he runs out of MP, he can't fight at all, so it's kind of moot, really. If all goes according to plan, we'll be able to get both the item shop Digimon at the same time. Which would just be sublime. It'd be godlike. It'd be good. Good boy, dudes. Well done. Is there anything you need? Nah, you're fine. Back to training. Let's go. Never stop training. We must be the best. Not just the pretty good, not just the all right, not just the above average, the best. And we will be. He's doing great. He was glitching into the wall just then, but that's just part of his training. It's a digital world. You can explain away anything. Yep, look at him go. Yeah, it's about time for us to head over to Coella Point. We shouldn't have to fight anything, so he should be okay, but that, re that relies on me being careful. If I'm not careful, we could get into a fight and that would be quite dangerous. I don't want him getting sick. Ah, oh, no, no fights, no fights, no fucking fighting, no fucking fighting, no fucking fighting, no, no, <sighs> you stupid little pow mow looking motherfucker. I've noticed that Dude's discipline is actually quite high. Your first Digimon is quite easy to keep uh, disciplined and happy. I've noticed that the second one is a lot harder because my current Digimon on my other playthrough is an unruly little piece of shit. And I'm having some troubles with him, admittedly. There's the fishy. Wait for it. There's the fish. Hello, fish. Hey, are you human? I'm like, bitch, maybe. I'm the fish Digimon. Did you come to see me? I'm like, yeah, totally. That's definitely what we were here for. And he gets all of his buddies. Now walk on our heads. Don't worry, we won't eat you. Despite those giant teeth that they have. He can jump really far. And I guess Dukes is just going to stay there and fuck himself, because they can't support his weight. 
He's got a weight of like 43, I think. He would crush them. All right, now we do kind of want to head straight back. That would be the smart thing to do. However, the optimal thing to do would be to head over here, grab this item, because it's lovely. Give me the item. Oh no, he needs to poop. No, 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 dudes. What the fuck, man? Your timing is awful. Why does this always happen to me? Oh god. Oh, he's gonna poop on the floor, isn't he? Oh no. Please, dudes. C no. I don't even know if dudes can beat him. We don't have time for this. He blocked that, and that's very good. I'm gonna give him a small recovery so he doesn't die. There we go. You're doing great, dudes. Beat him up quick, and then we can go. You can go poop. God, just get him. Just get him. Just get him. Just get him. Keep getting him. Oh God, you're getting him so good. You didn't stand a chance, dudes. I really underestimated you. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Good job, dudes. Well done. Come on, come on, come on, come on, let me go, 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 we need to go now, we need to go now, we need to go now, I'm gonna have to fucking scold him if he poops on the floor. Why, video game? I'm gonna wait until he walks away. I will. You little fuck! If any of these Spitfires miss, then we're gonna have to sit and wait for a special to come out in order to actually win the fight. Good, good block, dudes. Good block. Well done. Very good. He knows what he's doing. I'm gonna let him handle it. His brains is quite high for what he is. Just gonna let him take care of it. He's doing excellently, actually. Dudes, you are the biggest, bestest Digimon that ever lived. Everyone loves you. You are the MVP. That Auroramon is scared now, because you are so much tougher than it. Don't waste your fucking MP, though, because it, I don't want to have to sit around and wait for you. I think we have to sit around and wait for him to get a special to actually kill this thing. Yes, we are. That's really annoying. There we go. Use your finish. We need to do this now. Uh, why is this not working very well? There we go. It's going up more now. It doesn't actually matter. He will die from this, like so. Little dickhead, we don't have time. I did not expect to have to fight both of these things. Get out of here, you little cunt. God damn it. Go, 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 go. No! Oh, dudes. Don't fucking growl at me, that was your fault. And now he wants to. S well, fuck it, I may as well let him sleep, to be honest. Well, that was a disastrous day at the end there. It's fine, I don't think one poop mistake will turn him into a Sukum- or a fucking Sukumon or a Nanamon, but it's not what you want. We are gonna end the episode here, however. This has been an extra long video that I recorded. I'll probably have cut it down to be more like the length of a normal video, but it's been an extra long recording session because I wanted to make sure we actually did some stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I love this game. I appreciate this might not be the most entertaining thing I've ever done, but this is a bit of a passion project because I love this game so much. So, I will be doing more. Next time, we'll be going to sort out the item shop and everything will be good. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll try and go get Magma Bomb from Gaburamon or maybe we'll try and advance the story, for lack of a better term, as quickly as possible. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see. If you have any advice for, um for dudes here then let me know but try to keep the details to a minimum because if I wanted to know exactly how to digivolve him into certain things I would have just looked it up online you know I don't actually want to know exactly what to do I just want to I want to try and explore and find out things I want digivolutions to be a surprise and stuff like that but if you have vague tips then I would happily receive those but I digress and I'm rambling thank you so much for watching whatever happens next time and Dutes, his journey has just begun. I'll see you there. Doodles, goodbye. <laughs>